need for school application. And later, our education counselor, Catherine, will discuss the visa application process. Our first speaker is the representative of Fancho College. She is the International Education Advisor for the Philippines. Let us all welcome Ina Rana. Hi, Francis. Hi, Hello. Okay, so good evening, everyone who's, who are joining this webinar. I hope you're having a good Friday. And thank you for sparing the time tonight um, with us. So I hope you get good information about studying in Canada. So let me just share my screen. So again, my name is Ina, and I'm the representative of Fancho College for the Philippines. So I'll talk about our school, our program options, um, what do you need to prepare for, and also the application process. So to start, Fancho College is located in London, Ontario. So it's actually two hours away from Toronto Airport, which is the main entry point for our students. Um, right now, we also have a partnership with Philippine Airlines. So for our students who will be traveling to Canada to start their program, we have a discount for you and for your family members if you're traveling with them um, through PAL, through direct flight through PAL. Um, in terms of our student population, we have 22,000 full-time students and 7,500 of them are international, representing 104 different countries. So we all know that Canada is a very multicultural community, country, so, so is Fancho College. So right now, we have many Filipino students as well in currently studying in, in Fancho. So you might uh, be, uh, you might know someone who is a Filipino um, in your program or you might bump into someone when you are in London, Ontario. Also in terms of the programs that we offer, we do practice experiential learning um, and that means in our programs, we try to develop the knowledge and the skills needed by the industry. So when we create our programs, it's not just because we want to offer these programs, but we offer these programs because there's a labor market shortage for this specific um, specialization in this specific industry or field. Um, and also, our industry partners would also give some um, um, contributions in terms of how we develop the curriculum. So we try to embrace that um, type of learning in all of the programs that we offer in Fancho. Likewise, we also, uh, most of our programs would also have placements and co-op or cooperative education or what they call, uh, they are commonly known as paid internship. So in the programs, you can check out our website to know more about which programs would have placements or co-op. And I know for sure that many of you, the reason why you're going to Canada is because you want to land a job eventually after graduation. And we're happy to say that Fancho College um, ranked first in the whole province with 90.3 graduate employment rate. So uh, that means our students within six months after graduation, they have a job already. So that's 2019. And even in 2020, during the pandemic, we still help and assisted our students in terms of landing a job, preparing for you to be job ready by the time you finish your program in fact. <laughs> sorry about that. All right, sorry for that one. Okay, so in terms of the programs that we offer, we have 200 plus programs across 17 areas of study. So I hope that the field that you want to um, study in, in Canada is part of the program offerings that we have. Um, in terms of the programs, we have a variety of credentials wherein you can finish in Fancho. We have degree programs and these are four years. We have post-secondary certificate and these are one-year programs. We have diploma, that's two years. Advanced diploma is three years. Well, graduate certificate programs would usually take one year or two years. And given the credentials of students coming from the Philippines or applicants coming from the Philippines, I'd like to just give you a guide on how you can further narrow down your choice of program in Fancho. So with the credentials that you have, what would be the program that you can study in Fancho and what would be the graduate opportunity waiting for you? So based on the credentials of current um, Filipino applicants, we have three main categories. So we have high school graduates, and these are 
Um, those who finished grade 10 using the old curriculum of DepEd and they did not finish any college degree, some of you might have um, one or two years uh, study in college, but you, as long as you did not finish a degree in college, you fall under this category. So we can still accept you. We can, you can start your program in Pancho, but you have to take one year general arts and science. That's basically to compensate for the missing grades 11 and 12 and the college degree um, before you can continue to any one to three year post-secondary program. Um, most of you might fall under this category. So you're both high school and college graduates. So here you can take any programs, basically any post-secondary or post-graduate programs that are available for you. And the last category would be K-12 graduates. So um, this is an emerging market um, in the Philippines. Those who finish grade 12 and they don't want to study here in the Philippines anymore. So they want to venture outside of the Philippines to study abroad. So for K-12 graduates, they can proceed directly to a post-secondary program and later on um, go to a pathway for a degree or they can also proceed directly to a degree program in Pancho. So with the credentials that you have right now and the program that you finish in Fancho College, as long as it's a full-time program and you complete the program here, if you study one year, you get a one-year post-graduation work permit. And if you study at least a two-year program, or in some cases, we have one-year programs and graduate certificates, you can actually do a one plus one combination. We give you one LOA with the two programs already so that your study permit is two years and you can be eligible to up to three year post-graduation work permit. So basically all of our programs that are full-time, even the general arts and science, the pre-health, pre-media, pre-technology, um, they are eligible for post-graduation work permit. So basically everything that you've invested in, in Fancho for your studies would not be put to waste because they are eligible for a post-graduation work permit because Fancho is a public institution in Canada and we are also a designated learning institution. Uh, now let's talk about the student services that we offer to our students. So um, like I said a while ago, we have a partnership with Philippine Airlines. Should you book a, a, a direct flight with them um, going to Canada, you have a discounted rate together with your family members, maximum of two dependents. And as soon as you arrive in Canada, we have a Pancho Cares Arrival Service Program. It's a free service to all of our international students. So before the pandemic, um, it includes airport greeting, shuttle from Toronto to London, and two nights hotel accommodation. But given the um, new requirement for quarantine for, for three days in a hotel in, um, in a government appointed hotel, and um, you have to continue the 11 days in a second, secondary quarantine hotel, we provide assistance to students as well. So we provide transportation still if you're, um, you're staying in London, after, uh, staying in, in Canada, uh, in Ontario, sorry, um, after your three day quarantine in Toronto airport. Um, also, we do provide assistance to students if they wish to book a hotel for their 11 day quarantine. Um, we also partner with um, hotels in London to give you a discounted rate um, that is it all inclusive with your boarding, and also your meals throughout the 11 days. So these are the assistance that we provide our students. Um, that is, of course, in line with um, the current policy of the government and um, um, the health officials when it comes to travelers coming from outside of Canada. And as an international student, um, you're part of the International Center family, so you have access to a team that will help you with any program, admission, and student immigration-related concerns. So we have orientations. Um, you can also book an appointment with a student life coordinator if you have, you're having any problems with your um, studies on how you're adjusting in life in Canada. And if you want to apply for a study permit extension or if you have inquiries, with regard, your, uh, with regard to your post-graduation work permit, um, we can also assist you with that. And regularly, we have IRCC um, peer pathways um, orientation. 
to students um, so that you, at least while you're still studying, you're aware of the PR pathways that are available for you. And in terms of academic concerns or an assistance, we have the Learning Center. So you're free, you're very much free to book an uh, free to book an appointment with any academic advisors. And all of your programs would have their own program coordinator and academic success coordinators. So you, you are free very much to coordinate with them if ever you have any problems with regards to your program. And last but not the least, probably the reason why we have a very good um, achievement in terms of graduate employment rate. We have a very active career and employment service center that will be your one-stop shop access to everything that you need to know about job readiness in Canada. So while you are in, um, while you're studying your program, you have access to the dashboard where our partner companies um, would usually post their job um, openings either full-time, part-time, and summer jobs. It's, you have access to that one. And even after graduation, um, you have access for at least five years after graduation um, to this portal. And you're also free to drop by um, the Employment Service Center and or sometimes book an appointment with them um, if, you have any, if you have any inquiries or if you want to do a mock interview with them or if you are, uh, if you would like to verify if this specific job post is uh, a scam or not, they can help you with that one. So in terms of the tuition fee and living expenses, program tuition and fees for one year or two semesters would range from 16,000 to 18,000 Canadian dollars. And that will include a bus pass if you are taking a full-time program in London. So uh, basically, it works like a beep card. If you're familiar with beep cards, so you just need to tap, the, um, tap your ID um, when you ride the bus. That's free of charge 24-7, even in holidays and weekends. Your tuition fee is also inclusive of medical insurance. So that covers hospitalization, medical consultations and procedures, dental and vision as well. So that's covered while you are um, studying in Fanshawe. Accommodation um, would also range from 6,000 to 8,000 Canadian dollars. And this is off campus housing, which I think is very popular among international students because it's way cheaper than in campus accommodation. And off campus housing, in London is actually 40% more affordable, the rental, um, as compared to other cities in the province. So that's also one of the major factors why many Filipino students choose Fancho. It's because of the accommodation and living expenses in London. Um, books and other expenses, it's not part of the tuition fee that you paid for, but it also depends on your program. Um, for example, if you're taking a culinary management, um, you might not spend on books for your semesters, but you need to purchase a uniform that you will use in the kitchen. In terms of books, you're free, of course, to purchase used books to save costs, um, but just make sure that you purchase the exact same copy of the book that your professor is requiring you to purchase. Um, in terms of the application requirements, right now we're open. Um, to accept and process applications for any intake in 2022. So that means January, um, May, and September 2022. We already have seats and we can process your applications. And um, also, when you will apply through Kanata Education, we're also going to waive your 100 CAD application fee. And the minimum requirements to get your letter of acceptance are um, would be your high school and transcript high school transcript and diploma if you're taking a post-secondary program together with your college documents and your passport. But if you're going to apply for a graduate certificate, either one year or two years, you only need no number two and number three um, to submit. So this is the minimum requirements. If Kanata Education will ask for more, um, they need it for their visa filing and also for their reference. And of course, Pancho College, um, we're one of the few colleges who waive the application, uh, waive the IELTS requirement for Filipino students. So we don't require any IELTS or any English test or certification to get your letter of acceptance, except if you're applying for a pharmacy technician program. And if ever you do have an IELTS academic because you previously tested um, and it's still valid by the time you start your program, 
you have a chance to get our 1,000 or 1,500 Canadian dollars. Um, this will be awarded to you during your second semester because we also need your um, first semester GPA to be, uh, to be assessed and awarded of the scholarship. Other scholarship opportunities that are open to students, um, you need, it's usually merit-based, so you need at least first semester GPA um, before you can apply for any scholarship to international students. So that's the end of my presentation. Feel free to check out our website and also our social media pages. And I will be staying um, after the presentations to answer your questions. All right. Uh, thank you, Ina. Cool. Yes. Uh, our second speaker is the Senior Recruitment Specialist for Humber College. Let us all welcome Sir Daryl Agapito. Thanks, Francis. Thank you, Ina. Good evening, everyone. And thank you so much for um, attending this evening's webinar with Kanata. Thank you, Ina. So let me just share my presentation. So again, my name is Daryl Agapito, and I'm the in-country representative of Humber College here in the Philippines. My Anik. All right, so we are one of the institution partners of Kanata Educational Consultancy Services in Toronto. So we are located in Toronto, Canada, and our full name is Humber College Institute of Technology and Advanced Learning. So we are one of the polytechnic colleges and universities across Canada. There are only 13 in the whole Canada, there are only seven in Ontario, and there are only three in Toronto, and one of those is Humber College. So just to give you a little background about Toronto, Toronto is the largest city in Canada and the fourth largest city in the North America. And it's considered to be the 11th best urban destination or study destination for international students or aspiring students like you. In fact, in 2019, there were 643,000 international students tallied inside Canada and 50% of that number are studying in Ontario specifically in the city of Ottawa, which is the capital city of Canada, and in Toronto, which is the capital city of Ontario. Um, it is considered to be the second best city in the North America in terms of quality of living and ranked first in the North America in terms of being the safest city to live in. Toronto also has this um, largest and the busiest airport. It's the Toronto Pearson International Airport. So if you will be studying at Humber College, you will be landing in that airport. So again, that's the largest and the busiest airport, welcoming a lot of people from around the world. Of course, pre-pandemic, but with the pandemic going on right now, there are a little bit of restrictions when it comes to traveling to Canada or to Toronto. But um, given that it's welcoming a lot of people from around the world, almost all industries are available in Toronto. May it be healthcare, um, hospitality, engineering, IT, business, everything. So if you are an international student looking for a part-time job while still studying or a student looking for a job during your postgraduate work permit stage, definitely you will be able to find jobs at, um, in Toronto. <clears throat> It is also a very vibrant city where you will be experiencing a lot of things. If you are into sports, you have the Scotiabank Arena. We also have the Rogers Center in Toronto. And if you are into nature, you can definitely visit Niagara Falls, which is just an hour away from Toronto. And of course, you will be experiencing the Four Seasons of Canada if you will be sitting in Toronto. And why should you choose Humber College? Um, we are a global leader in career-focused learning. That's uh, one thing about being a polytechnic college. We ensure that um, we deliver our programs in a combination of theoretical and practical learning. So our students are really immersed in the industry and they are job-ready after finishing their program at Humber. Um, that being said, 79% of our programs have co-op or work placements. Um, and definitely, you will be able to practice while you are still studying at Humber. Currently, we have 33,000 full-time registered students and 6,500 individual international students from over 130 nationalities. I'm very happy to say that Philippines is already top five um, origin of international students at Humber College. So um, that means we have a growing number of Filipinos inside Humber. And we also have 85.4% employment rate within six months. So after you finish your program at Humber, you will definitely be able to get jobs after your studies. And again, 
Um, we are also um, part of the DLI or Designated Learning Institutions in Canada. And almost all of our programs or all of our programs that we deliver to our international students are post-graduate work permit eligible. So currently we have three campuses, all in Toronto. Um, our main campus is the North Campus. It's just 10 minutes away from the largest and the busiest airport. Again, that's Toronto Pearson International Airport. And our Lakeshore Campus is where we deliver most of our media programs and our postgraduate degree programs. That is just around um, 20 to 30 minutes away from the airport. And our very new facility, which is the IGS or International Graduate School, um, that's located in downtown city of Toronto. And we are only delivering postgraduate degree programs in this campus only to international students. If you can see the green line, this is a subway. The yellow U-shaped line is also a subway. And the purple line up here is also a subway. All broken red lines are bus lines. So anywhere you live around Toronto, um, it will be definitely um, easy for you to access all of our campuses. And again, we being um, the main campus or North Campus being the our main campus, we have most of our facilities there, including our Humber Room, which is our very own restaurant inside the North Campus being operated or run by our um, students under hospitality and restaurant operations management, um, bacon pastry arts management, culinary management, event management. We also have our BCTI or Barrett Center for Technology and Innovation. Um, again, we are very well known for technology and um, innovation. That's why we built this facility last June 2019 for our students under automation, robotics, systems integration, IT, computer programming, game programming, um, mechatronics. If you have any um, research or project that you want to work on together with the Humber faculty, you can definitely use this facility. And that building is also sponsored by these industry partners and your research will also be um, sponsored by these industry partners. We also have a lot of services for our international students, one of which is Academic and Career Success Center. If you are having troubles with your um, part-time job or looking for a part-time job while you are still studying, um, you can just go to this center and they will be assisting you with the job postings and job listings around Toronto. We are also conducting job fairs for our students to bring in our industry partners so that our students can network and submit their CV right then and there. And we also have the International Center. So if you are having trouble with your study permit, your visa, if you have finished your program at Humber and you are already applying for postgraduate work permit, um, International Center will also be assisting you with that. We are also conducting workshops on how you will be applying for that PGWP. And we also have our Student Wellness and Accessibility Center. Um, if you are having troubles with your health, may it be your physical health or mental health, you just go to this center and we will be assisting you also for free. And we have our very own athletics and recreation at the North Campus as well. Pre-pandemic, we are conducting fitness classes where you can participate for free. But right now, we are trying to limit the number of students inside the campus. So you might want to book first before um, going to the Athletics and Recreation Center if you want to use the facility. And this is our Lakeshore Campus. It has more open space and green space for our students. Again, this is where we um, deliver most of our postgraduate degree programs pr prior to having the IGS. And we are also delivering our media programs at the Lakeshore Campus. <clears throat> so we have over 200 academic programs where you can choose from. Um, you can see the complete list of our programs on our website, that's humber.ca. But just to let you know, we have um, programs under fashion and aesthetics, applied technology and engineering, um, health sciences and wellness. I just want to emphasize um, when they usually hear about Humber College Institute of Technology and Advanced Learning, they think that we do not have health sciences program or programs, but we do, but we do have, we have practical nursing, personal support worker, um, occupational therapy assistant and physical therapy assistant, biotechnology, pharmacy technician, and so on. We also have business accounting and management, um, also creative arts and design, including our architectural technology and interior decorating. 
We also have emergency services, children and youth, um, such as child and youth care, and also early childhood education. We also have community and social services, like so social service worker program and developmental services worker program. We also have skilled trades, like plumbing techniques, welding techniques, um, industrial woodworking technician. We also have media, public relations and marketing, music and performing arts. Again, hospitality and tourism, including our culinary management, culinary skills, bacon and pastry arts management. Also, information, computer and digital technology, including our ITS or information technology solutions program. And our very new um, program under that area is cloud computing. We also have foundations in language training. If you wish to teach English, you can um, study teaching English as a second language. We also have justice and legal studies. So again, um, just to run down our healthcare programs, um, I have mentioned earlier that we have practical nursing, pharmacy technician, occupational therapy. Um, on top of that, we also have fitness and health promotion, food, food and nutrition management, systems navigator, addictions and mental health. And also we are the only public college in Ontario who is offering traditional Chinese medicine program. And um, since we are a polytechnic college, we are one of the very few colleges who can deliver bachelor's degree program. And we have over, we have 31 bachelor's degree where you can choose from. So if you are a grade 12 student here in the Philippines and you wish to study your bachelor's degree in Canada, specifically at Humber College, um, you can choose from uh, our 31 bachelor's degree programs. So our bachelor's degree is same with um, here in the Philippines, it's four year degree. These are some of our industry partners where you will be working during your co-op or work placement and also um, after you finish your program um, during your PGWP. We have three intakes at Humber. That will be September, January, and May. Currently, we are still open for September 2021. There are programs that we that um, have still open seats. So you might want to check if your chosen program is still available with Kanata. They can definitely assist you on um, choosing your program. Our January 2022 um, applications will open this coming May 17 in a few days, in 10 days. So you still have time to collate all your documents and um, sub submit them to Kanata Educational Consultancy Services. We do not have um, an application deadline as long as you have time to apply for your visa and your chosen program is still open, feel free to submit an application. What are the documents that you need to submit if you will be applying to Humber College? If you will be applying for certificate, diploma, advanced diploma, we will be needing your high school transcript, even if you already finished your bachelor's degree program here in the Philippines. If you will be applying to a graduate certificate uh, program at Humber, we don't need high school transcripts anymore. You just submit your college transcript and diploma. We have a language proficiency um, requirement, but if you finished bachelor's degree in any of these schools that you can see on your screen, we can waive the language proficiency requirement for you, except if you are applying for practical nursing, pharmacy technician, and bachelor of nursing. All of those three programs, we cannot waive the language proficiency test. Uh, I just want to emphasize that we are only accepting IELTS for pharmacy technician. If you want to check if your school is on that list, you can check it with Kanata. They also have that list with them. And also, we will be waiving the application fee of 75 Canadian dollars application fee if you will be submitting your application through Kanata. Um, our tuition fees are running from 16,000 to 20,000 Canadian dollars, good for one year or two semesters covering your health insurance for one year. And we also have um, international entrance scholarship. Once you are already accepted to your program and you have already received your letter of acceptance, you can separately submit an application for the scholarship of 2,000 Canadian dollars. Aside from the letter of acceptance, you will be asked to submit a GPA of 85%, an IELTS score of 6.5 or any equivalent test, um, two reference letters, and an essay. So this 2,000 Canadian dollar scholarship is for graduate certificate program, diploma programs, and advanced diploma programs. If you are a grade 12 student in the last eight months and 
you will be applying to Homer College for a bachelor's degree, you can avail of um, up to $4,000 Canadian dollars scholarship automatically if your GPA is 95% or higher back in high school in grade 12 here in the Philippines. If your GPA is 90 to 95%, you can get 3,500. Um, GPA is 85 to 90%, you can get 3,000. For 80 to 85%, you can get 2,000. All of those are renewable. Since bachelor's degree is a four-year degree, if you're able to maintain those grades, you will be able to get the same amount of scholarship by the following year. For grade 12 students who got 75 to 80% GPA, you can still get a one-time non-renewable um, 1,500 Canadian dollar scholarship. Application process is very easy. Just submit all the scanned copy of your documents to Kanata and they will be assisting you with your application. This is just a summary of our um, cost of living. So just choose one if you will be living in a homestay or residence or rental accommodation and just total them and that will be your estimated cost of living in Toronto for one year. We also have on-campus accommodation in both of our North Campus and Lakeshore Campus. This is how our single bedroom looks like and our two-bedroom suite looks like, shared kitchen, dining, and bathroom. Um, the costs are around 6000 to 8000 Canadian dollars and dining plans are required or mandatory if you will be living on campus. So this or these rates are good for one semester, all right? And if you are interested in living off campus or outside the school, you can check these websites, all right? So I think that's it for my presentation and thank you so much and I will be joining you later for the Q&A. All right, thank you, Sir Daryl. Our final speaker for tonight is uh, one of our education counselor that will discuss the uh, requirements and the process for the visa application. Let us all welcome Ms. Catherine. Thank you, Sir Francis. And thank you, Ms. Ina and Sir Daryl for joining us tonight. And welcome everyone who are, with, who are here with us tonight. So it's a Friday evening and I hope you're doing a you're having a great time. So, pasensya na dun sa, uh, sa kumaingay. So, I'm, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Okay, so, I'm going to be very quick. So, welcome once again to Study in Canada webinar with Canada Education. So, let me discuss with you what are the benefits of an international student in Canada. So, first of all, as an international student, there are um, rules and regulations you need to follow. So, one of them is to be always enrolled at a designated learning institution. You need to make progress towards completing your program. And of course, you need to respect the conditions of your student permit. And you should stop studying if you do not meet these requirements and leave Canada when your permit expires. Okay, so one of the great benefits of an international student is that you can work while you study in Canada. So there are three ways to earn while studying. The first one is through on-campus jobs. So you don't need to have a work permit, but you need to be a full-time student and hold a valid student permit. So jobs on campus are highly dependent on its availability. So it's not like um, there are a lot of available jobs on campus. And then off-campus jobs, you don't also need a work permit, but you should have already started studying. So those who um, arrived in Canada one month before their program cannot start working. So they can only start working once you are already starting your program or your classes. Okay, and last but not the least is through the co-op or um, an internship which is incorporated with your program. So some of these co-ops are paid or not paid. Okay, so as a student, you can work 20 hours per week during the school semester and 40 hours per week or a full-time job during semestral breaks or holiday breaks. Okay, so one of the things our international students are considering why they want to study in Canada is that they can stay in Canada after they finish their program or this is what they call the postgraduate work permit. So 
if you are enrolled in a program less than eight months, then you are not eligible for postgraduate work permit. But if you are enrolled for a one-year program, then you are eligible for one-year postgraduate work permit. And if it's a two-year program, then it's a three years postgraduate work permit. Okay, and then of course, you can bring your dependents with you if you would want to. So 18 years old and above, um, the considered dependents are your spouse, common law partner, and of course, your children. So parents, grandparents, your siblings, your titas and titos, and your cousins are not um, considered as your dependent. So it should be your own uh, family. Okay, so that, that are the, those are the benefits of an international student in Canada. So once again, you can submit your passport, your CV, your academic transcripts, and your security deposit of 10,000 pesos, not Canadian dollars. We do not collect processing fees. Canada Education doesn't collect processing fees. We will be helping you all throughout your school and visa application. We will give you a free assessment, unlimited consultation, and of course, assistance all throughout your student application journey. We just collect the 10,000 peso security deposit, which you will use later on for your visa application and biometrics fee. So technically, wala ka pa rin binayad. Okay, so what are the documents required for the school application? As mentioned earlier, you need to have a valid passport, uh, your academic transcripts, your diploma, your CVs, and other IDs. Okay, so what is the process when applying as a student in Canada? First is you need to consult with your counselor. So through the consultation and assessment, we can then recommend you the right program you need to take in the school. And then once we have decided what is the program, we will then gather and submit all the required documents to the school and apply apply to the designated learning institution. After that, we will wait for a letter of acceptance. Usually it will take 24 hours to seven business days for them to release the letter of acceptance. But this one depends on the school and the province. So for Fanshawe and Humber College, it will take usually 24 hours minimum to up to seven to 10 business days. So once we have received the letter of acceptance, you need to confirm your slot and pay your tuition fees. And then you can proceed now to do your visa application process, process by getting a medical exam and complete all the required visa requirements. And then we will guide you in submitting the documents for visa application. Okay, so there are two types of visa application process. First is the regular stream or the most preferred option of visa application of students. So the waiting time pre-pandemic is six to eight weeks. Right now, um, the waiting time is around 12 to 13 weeks. So as of the moment, we cannot accept students for September 2021 since there is already a deadline uh, from IRCC that all visa applications must be submitted by May 15 in order to get the visa decision by August and then you can proceed to your classes or go to Canada by September. So all um, applications right now will be for um, year 2022. So for regular stream, you are required to have your proof of, accepta proof of acceptance from designated learning institution or the letter of acceptance. And then you must submit your proof of identity in a form of IEDs, birth certificates, and all that stuff. And then you need to, to you are required to provide financial support in a form of a sponsor through their bank accounts, I mean bank statements, with the required show money. So how much is the show money? Um, show money is equivalent to one year tuition fee plus one year living cost of 10,000 Canadian dollars. So more or less, um, show money is around 1 million at least. Okay, so this show money must be in your sponsor's uh, bank account. Um, your sponsor doesn't need to be in Canada. Um, they can be anywhere in the world as long as they have access to their bank statements or, or bank accounts and they can provide bank statement for the past four months with the maintained show money. All right, and then last but not the least, you need to write a letter of explanation, study plan, or statement of purpose, whatever you call it. Um, we will help you and guide you how to write the um, study plan. So all of these are part of our services 
given to our students. Okay, so once again, for a regular stream, you are required to provide your LOA, your proof of identity, a proof of financial support, and your letter of acceptance. The next one is the study direct stream or the straightforward and hassle-free type of application. So prior to COVID, the waiting time is four to six weeks. So there are actually students who can fly to Canada within one month. But right now, once again, there is um, a processing time of 12 to 13 weeks. So if you are planning to apply for next year, you should start your application as early as now so that we still have the right amount of time to process your visa application. You must um, submit an IELTS score with a minimum band of six. So even if the school, like for example, in Fanshawe and your school is part of the Humber's list for waived IELTS, um, you are, you, they do not require IELTS, but if you are going to apply through the study direct stream, then you must take an IELTS exam and have a score with a minimum band of six, okay? Um, you are required to purchase a guaranteed investment certificate worth 10,000 Canadian dollars. And we will guide you how to purchase this one. This GIC will be given to you on a monthly basis as an allowance while you are studying in Canada. And then you are required to pay one year tuition fee. So with regular stream, you must pay the one semester tuition fee, but with study direct stream, you are required to pay one year tuition fee. And of course, you need to write your letter of purpose or a statement or study plan. So once again, for study direct stream, you must take an IELTS with a minimum band of six, purchase a guaranteed investment certificate and payment of tuition fee plus the um, study plan of my team. So why you should not let COVID stop you from reaching your dreams? So all schools are now shifting towards online learning or distance learning. So you can still learn at the comfort of your home. You don't need to have part-time jobs. And then of course you still qualify for postgraduate work permit. Okay, that's it for my presentation tonight. Thank you so much. You can follow us on our Instagram and Facebook page. And if you haven't yet already, you can follow my YouTube channel for more information about studying in Canada and you can play back this a webinar on my channel. Thank you so much, guys. We can now proceed with the question and answer portion. All right, so I have a question here. Um, both school representatives can answer. If the student is vaccinated, will the quarantine um, requirement be shortened? Okay, I think based on the IRCC website, even if you're vaccinated, you still have to undergo the 14-day quarantine. Okay. So it might change soon, but right now, if you're traveling to Canada, you won't be um, exempted from the for quarantine okay. uh, This question is for uh, Sir Daryl. A uh, student uh, named Paula asks, if she graduate uh, high school, uh, yung old curriculum, uh, pwede ba siyang accept sa Humber IGS campus? Uh, Nag-high school pero nag-college. Um, all the programs that we offer at the IGS campus are only for graduate or post-graduate degree. So the minimum requirement or the requirement for applying for a graduate certificate program is a bachelor's degree. So if you finished bachelor's, yes, pwede naman sa IGS. Pero kung old curriculum, high school, pero hindi na college, as long as you are 19 years old and above, you can still apply for certificate diploma, advanced diploma, um, and you will be um, required to take an admission test. All right. Okay, to follow up, uh, follow up with that question, Sir Daryl, uh, someone from our YouTube viewers asked this, um, how is the evaluation um, at Humber College? Do you need an interview? Will there be an interview? No interview. Um, we just base, we just base our assessment on your transcripts and uh, diploma. Okay. That's good. Uh, this question is for Ina because kayo yung merong uh, parang partnership with PAL. Okay. Uh, until when 
yung uh, fair discount sa okay. All right. So for the PAL discount with financial students, it's until September 2021, but we are working on to renew the app, to renew the agreement to cover 2022 intakes. So for January, uh, for, sorry, for September, if they have a visa approval na, they can already book a flight to PAL and then, ano yung ipipresent nila? Um, so if you have, if you're September 2021 intake student, if you have an approved visa, um, you just need to contact PAL via email or you can also go to any PAL ticket office. Um, you just need to submit your LOA and your tuition fee receipts. If you have family members, maximum of two, who will also avail of the discount, you also need to provide a proof of relationship. So yun lang yung mga kailangan to avail of the um, discount. Thank you, Ina. Thank you. Okay, um, for pharmacy assistance uh, program in Fancho, is it required to take IELTS? Okay, so for pharmacy community pharmacy tech, uh, community pharmacy assistant, it doesn't require IELTS. So pharmacy tech program, yung two year diploma lang yung kailangan ng IELTS. Other programs to health sciences like practical nursing, PSW, dental, it doesn't require IELTS. Mm -hmm. Thank you so uh, one much. student, uh, her name is Casey. Uh, she finished Bachelor's of Science in Hospitality Man Management and she worked as a flight attendant for seven years. Ano ba yung program na pwede niya itake sa Humber and sa Fancho? Uh, Daryl? Hey, sorry. What's the question again? Uh, sorry. Uh, what program uh, yung pwede kuhanin na student na may background in, yung natapos yung Bachelor's degree is uh, Hospitality and to and tourism management. Uh, we, we have a graduate certificate in hospitality. We also have a graduate certificate in event management. So, uh, ilang years yung program? Uh, the, it's around, hospitality is one year, graduate certificate, event management is also one year. It's also a graduate certificate program. What about in Fancho, Nina? So, for Fancho, we have hospitality management program. It's two years. Um, if gusto naman ng anything event related, meron kaming one year business program for that. Right. Um, Sir Francis, I just want to clarify that um, Kanata Education cannot assist with your uh, permanent residency applications because we are not a licensed immigration consultant. We can only assist you with your student permits and um, school applications and visa applications as well as we do not provide jobs um, for our students. Okay, I, I believe uh, the, the jobs are uh, definitely hindi kami magpa-provide, but the schools actually supports international students in looking for a job just like the Humber Meron Silang Student Center and also Fancho. So, and they also do job fairs dun sa campus pag nandun na kayo sa Canada. So definitely uh, the school will help you pag maghahanap na kayo ng part-time job habang nag-aaral. But for Kanata, hindi, hindi kami makakatulong for you. Okay. Um, there is a question here. If you, uh, if you are already um, a master's um, in business holder, are you still qualified for a program um, either in Humber or in Fancho? Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, Ina. I, I would um, suggest applying for a graduate certificate rather than applying for a certificate or diploma or advanced diploma. Yeah, same with us. Since given your credential, better to take a graduate certificate um, because if you take a diploma, it's kind of a downgrade to your qualification. Mm -hmm. That's Okay, so I think that's it for our question and answer portion. Uh, to those who are asking for program recommendations, we will give you a call um, next week for um, assessment, and then we can do the program recommendation during the phone assessment. So we cannot answer all these questions because mga 12 o'clock na tayo matatapos dyan, guys. So um, thank you so much. You can contact our school representatives, Ms. Ina and Sir Daryl, if you do have further questions. Or you can also 
um, message us on our Facebook page and our email addresses is also there for you to contact. So thank you so much, Sir Daryl and Miss Ina, Sir Francis. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for joining us tonight, everyone. And I hope you have a great weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye. Happy weekend. Happy weekend.